Hello, welcome back to another video in finance math. Today we're going to be talking about installment loans and specifically the amortization. Now an installment loan is kind of, it's a mortgage, it could be a car loan, um, any, any sort of loan where you have a fixed payment over a given amount of time. So one thing to consider about loans, and because this is going to be important later, is that you can have a longer term loan, so like um, you can have a 30 year mortgage or a 15 year mortgage. Now the longer your term, the smaller your payments. And the shorter the term, the larger the payments. So instead of paying like say $1,000 per month, you have to pay $1,700 per month. So why in the world would you go with the shorter term if your payments are going to be larger? And it's, it's, you can see it best using what we call an amortization table. Now before we actually get into calculating the loan amount or calculating a monthly payment, let's take a look at uh, an amortization table for a specific loan. Suppose you were to take out a car loan. Uh, let's say the car loan was for $20,000. Now let's do two different term lengths. Let's do four years, which is 48 months, and a fixed year or fixed interest rate of say 4%. Now if we calculate, notice that the monthly payment is going to be $451.58. Now this is on a four-year loan. So let's remember this number, $451. Now let's extend it. Let's do instead a six-year loan, which is 72 months. So remember the $451. Now, if you get a longer term loan, it goes down to 312. So it went from 452 to 312. So you have smaller payments. But there's a downside to having a longer payment. And it's shown in this is the amortization table down here. Now, every time you make a monthly payment, say $312, some of it will go towards the principal, some of it will go towards interest. And then, you know, the, the last column here is how much you have left in your balance after your payments. So, but I have this column here, which is interest paid. It, the column is going to keep a running total of the interest you spend. So, for example, you spend $66 on your first payment in interest, and then your second payment $65. So it's just keeping a running total of the interest you paid. So let's take a look at how much you actually spend in interest. Because... And no matter which length you choose, you'll always pay back the original $20,000 loan. It's just a matter of now, which one do you spend more in interest? So, for the longer term loan, you spend a small, again, it's a smaller payment, uh, and you, but you spend $2,529 in interest. So actually, let me write that down. So here I wrote down our $20,000 loan for six years, 72 months, 4%. We saw that the monthly payment was 312. We paid a total of interest, total and in interest of $2,500, a little over 25. Now the total, total paid overall would then be the loan amount you paid back, because you got to pay back that $20,000, but then you also paid back $2,529 in interest. So how much did you pay total? It'd be $22,529 and, you know, six cents. Okay, well that's fine. So let's compare it now to the shorter one. So let's go back to uh, the calculator. So now we're going to change this back to 48 uh, still 4%, and notice it goes back up to $451, and that's fine. But notice now the interest rate, or interest paid, is a lot less, $1,675.89. So let's write that down. So we have 48 months for that one, and we saw the monthly payment, which is $451, so a little bit more. Uh, and then the total paid in interest was a bit less, and the total paid overall, which again is the $20,000 loan, which again you have to pay back no matter what, and then $1,675.89. So how much did you pay overall? It will be 
$675.89. Now another way of coming to this number is you are making $451.58 payments and you're making 48 payments. So if you were to just multiply these two numbers together, you'll get 21675 And in the calculator, you'll get $0.84. Cents, but that's only because of the calculator online you know, does rounding. And so you're going to be off by a little bit, but not much. So you can see that even though you have larger payments each month, overall, you'll end up spending less. So that's why when you're plan on getting a car loan or a mortgage, you have to take some of this stuff into consideration. Yes, a larger payment, but overall you paid less.